welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. I am Corbin, and this is Rick. I kind of hyperextended my elbow. <laughs> I really did, going all out for Ranbir. If you knew that, channel, go and smash the like button, subscribe, and ring that little bell to be part of the notification squad. Ring it, Corbin! Boom! <laughs> ah! That was full. Yes! <laughs> and follow us on Instagram! Dang it! And Twitter! I was literally thinking about Ranbir. For more juicy god dad. It's so juicy. Uh, so today, we will be Ow. reviewing a oh. film that we saw the trailer for. Probably it was actually one of the first it was trailers we reviewed. And I'll link that right here. Oh, there, I put it back in place. <laughs> oh, it feels much better. But it it was probably one of the most beautiful, it was, up to that point, the most beautiful trailer we yeah. It had, was had seen. I think if it wasn't the first, it was one of the very first where we were just flabbergasted at the yeah. beauty of the imagery. And so we'll be reviewing Pattern Fought today. It's going to be a complete spoiler review because I'm sure all of you have seen it. So if you haven't, if you sorry, haven't, go watch it. Go watch it because <laughs> here come the spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, what'd you think? How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. <laughs> uh, we're going to be here a while, guys. Um, freaking, freaking just adored it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. It was... I've got so many notes. We'll be here for a long time. Absolutely mesmerizing, I think. Utterly mesmerizing. Is, is the word. Yep. And and, and that's not just the act. It, I mean, the first thing you notice, just like in the trailer... Mm -hmm. It's like watching a screensaver, like a beautiful, like when you have those nature screensavers. Yeah. Or sh it's like watching that and you're just fixed and you, you, you don't even have to, you could watch it silent almost. Yeah, exactly. You can just sit there and watch it. You can sit it. there for an hour and 45 minutes, I mean two hours and 45 yeah. minutes and be transfixed the whole time. Just from the visuals. So whoever the cinematographer was. The cinematography, this production right design, art design, and the director. You guys, and let me also say this, not just the beauty, which I can go on and on and on and on and on about. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a single continuity error that I could find mm -hmm. in a movie that long, yeah. with that much detail. The attention to detail was Spielberg level attention. And if you guys know how much detail he pays attention to, especially when he's doing a historical piece of some kind, yeah. the attention to detail at every single, it's just, it clearly, toward the end of the movie, I just kept thinking to myself, it's very clear that every single person involved this uh, with this thing, it mattered deeply to them to do this right, yeah. and it was a, a labor of love. That yeah. everybody was f like 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 the cast and the production crew for Black Panther, mm -hmm. how important it was for them to get it right. I really felt in every moment from everybody involved yeah. that let's how about the costumes? Yeah. I, uh, oh my goodness! It was so beautiful, and then they they contrasted so well with what was going on, and like especially the the end, which we'll talk about. Uh, but when all the women were in red, and it was like the sea of red going down into oh, yeah, and then every shot, the, the way that they had the costuming and the lighting and the set. When the girls were walking, I noticed this toward the end, and it was just this little detail that makes it so aesthetically beautiful. When they were walking, and it was a shot from down here, and Padmavad is walking, and behind her, on that next floor, are the women in red, and every single one of them is spaced exactly the same distance apart. Yeah. Which creates such an aesthetic beauty that could so easily be missed, but they yeah. took the time. I guarantee they told them, I need you guys to be this far apart. I need you to be this far apart. Every little yeah. thing. Just Like I said, this whole thing great. could be set to some <sighs> classic... Indian music, yeah, and you could just watch it with that, yeah. and you'd be totally just like, "Whoa!" Yeah, you the would. biggest issue with this film is that they, for some reason, in India can't find gorgeous people to be their. Leads. I know if they could just <laughs> get attractive people. I mean, like because uh, the, the leads were just so ugly, hard to look at. <laughs> just uh, she wasn't believable as like this pretty woman. No, not to, like you, some you know, goddess from a different no, planet. You could have played yeah. this role. Yeah, exactly. It's My <laughs> goodness. The casting was perfect. Oh, God. All joking it was aside, so beautiful. The casting was, and I loved. I love. I got I gotta show you. I took the picture of this, and I was gonna have us put it up, but I'm just gonna take it off my phone, man. Uh, I you stopped send it. it to me. I'll put it on the screen. Will you? Yeah. Okay. So just put it. Show and show me. It's it's the it's this. Okay, you're gonna put that right yeah. here. Yeah, I'll put that right okay, here. Okay, so here it is. Even when he's in the dungeon, his hair is on point, man. <laughs> Look at how beautiful he is. Look, Look at me. 
<laughs> I am so deliciously gorgeous, even in my worst moment. Literally. Ah! Every single person, and obviously, I want to formally apologize to Ranveer. Oh, no kidding, man. Uh, Please get the word to Ranveer, because for the disrespect I, I gave him for Gully, Gully Boy. Boy. And I didn't, I told you that you did amazing in Gully Boy. It's just I thought you were the weakest. I, I was wrong. <laughs> that was I. And I formally apologize for Deeply, the disrespect I gave passionately. you. Passionately. <laughs> Um, cause, because I, I saw it a second time. Remember, I saw Gully Boy a second time, and we had been introduced to him a little bit, mm -hmm. and I appreciated him more. I also wasn't as taken by Alia Bot because she stole the show from me. Mm -hmm. Had had we seen this mm -hmm. before Gully Boy, it's a completely different guy. I would have, I would have been, I would have been just talking nonstop about Ram. Yeah, it's so. Like I said, I apologize. <laughs> yeah, and nobody this else can play this role. Probably my favorite performance I've seen in a Bollywood film. I wouldn't argue that at all. I mean, I've, I've got... It's my type of role. It's yeah. It's very interesting. He's a villain. He right. He just has a lot of weird quirks. Quirky moments, yeah. I loved it. Every time he was on screen, I was like, holy cow. Yeah. And and also, in this film, I did not mind the musical numbers one little bit. Right on, Corbin <laughs> Miles! <laughs> Woohoo! This is the first time that they uh, they felt like they fit. Did you get as amped as I did when, when that music oh, yeah. came up? I, I was off of the couch, behind the couch, moving around going, Oh, yeah, go around here, go baby! <laughs> yeah, I love that, and then we finally figured out what the arrows were. Yeah, which was <laughs> I totally forgot the arrows were coming. Yeah. I was no, so I, wrapped up in the party I, dance. I was waiting, and then I totally forgot about the guy who, who shot them. Right. Because uh, I totally forget, because it, obviously it's a long film, and so I think that's what they wanted you to do. Yeah, like, he totally this, forget. This. But I, there was a lot of really interesting stuff in this film. Um, obviously, the, the the dynamics between the Sultan and the which, uh, I the King, what the other, King, yeah, they which King. They, they perfect casting, yeah. And then the <sighs> the in the fact that this is based on a true story, right? A poem, a true story historically, and also a, a a really legendary poem. And I thought they did such a phenomenal job of making this feel. You know how hard this is. They simultaneously made it feel like a historic epic mm -hmm. and a poetic, lyrical expressiveness that doesn't heart it's almost fantasy. And they pulled that off. Well, here in America, this seems like a fantasy story. <laughs> right. Of course. Um, <laughs> Sadly. Too yeah. many people here wouldn't appreciate the poetry of it. Yeah. Um, but it was such a beautiful film in the way it was told, and it was it was literally just like Looking a poem. Yeah, it um, was. And it just kept going on. But then I loved the different quirks it had. I, the, it started off and you met Ranveer and you gave him the ostrich, which was cool and weird. Right. <laughs> Very but then obviously you, you found out that Ranveer wasn't this really great guy. I, yeah, I thought he was going to be the hero, yeah, actually. so did I. And I'm like, oh cool, he's the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you obviously felt for his actual wife. Oh man, yeah. Because he was now he's openly telling her, this is going to be my yeah. goddess. Exactly. And <laughs> you're like, oh, Ranveer. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like you, man. <laughs> I loved it. You're not a nice guy. Um, but then the fact that one of the best lines in the whole thing, I think, was... Um, there were a lot. Yeah, oh yeah, there was a lot. But one of my favorite ones was, I forget the exact line, but it was something the Padmavat said it. She said, in wherever they are, it's not just the men who are warriors. Yeah, it's it's the women. It's the women. Yep. And so this is like a heroine story about all the women that... Defeated, yes. Ranveer's. I forget how to pronounce his name, so I don't want to. Right, the Sultan. Yeah, the yeah. Sultan. Um, and you ended up like, oh wow, he. They are really defeating him because really that's are. all he was doing this for. Yep. And you're, <laughs> you're taking his dream away. And I did not see it coming that she was. They were just all gonna sacrifice themselves so they neither their their enemies get defeated. Right. And in such a awful way too. <laughs> I know it. And did you notice? Speaking of that juxtaposition. The way they directed, there was a moment in that scene where Ranveer's soldiers are running in and screaming. Mm -hmm. And then they go to the women running to the fire screaming. Mm -hmm. And it's that juxtaposition of the two warriors. And they're clearly the ones who have mm -hmm. the power and are going to win. It was yeah, you saw the fear on Ranveer's face. Yes. Yeah. It's like, don't take away my dream. The only two times I noticed flaws in this film were some of the CGI That's moments. That's the only one. Yep. Uh, Just some, some of the CGI moments were weak. Yeah. And it's like, and I it's, totally forgive that. Yeah, and it was when they fell down. When in they the were, ground. In the ground. And yep. I was like, That's clearly CGI. <laughs> right. And then when they were throwing the, um, the, the rocks. The rocks. Yeah. Or the, the, the burning coals. Yeah. 
on him. And I was like, oh, that's yeah. I'm like, pass. CGI. You get a pass. Yeah. And so it's like it, those are the only two issues I really found with the film. I was I wasn't even mad about the length of the film because I was like, this is so beautiful to watch. I don't really mind it. Not at all. At all. And, and I, when it started, I wrote, Corbin should love that this film is dedicated to a dog. <laughs> Because right at the outset, <laughs> I thought, if you don't love this film, <laughs> um, yeah. the script was beautiful. The first time I really noticed the script was when Padmavat is being questioned by the, by the guru. Mm -hmm. And he's asking her, what is this? What is this? And she's giving her responses. The scripting, I don't know how much of that is taken from the, the, the poem or from history. But I thought so many moments where the, I would love to go back. I just go through and catch those moments in the script again because mm -hmm. the script was so good. Yeah, there was also this interesting <laughs> moment that this came out in 2018, obviously, right? right? Um, but the the guy who was his second hand was in love with in Randy love with his character. You bet. And I thought that was such an interesting dynamic. It was almost like a Gaston and yeah, except that this guy was actually like a badass. <laughs> right, 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 <laughs> right. He was worth having yeah. love with the love of the guy. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but I thought that was such an interesting because I. I haven't seen that in the films we've watched of Bollywood yet. Yeah, not yet. Uh, any, no. Any type of uh, gay relationship, I don't right. think. We, have we? Not like this. Um, but so I thought, of, I just, I hadn't seen it yet, so I thought... Yeah, I can't, nothing's coming to and, mind. And I'm sure they'll say, well, that, you know, we haven't had a problem with that for, you know, Long decade, time. Yeah. <laughs> Way longer than y'all. Yeah. You guys think you're ahead of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was a really cool dynamic they added to the whole thing, and yeah. I, I really enjoyed that part of it. I also loved, I wrote this this down at, at uh, the, noticed two things, and I thought this was freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. Juxtaposition again of two images that were given. Mm -hmm. The first one, when the Sultan first attacks the, the king's troops, right, in the first attack, yeah. and there's that big cloud of dust, all of his troops go first. And he goes last, which is pretty awful. Yeah. A, a, a general and a, a commander is supposed to be at the front, uh -huh. right? So I thought, wow, same thing with him getting the arrows in the back. Yeah. Which, that was a great it's scene. Like, yeah, and he fell on it and landed on the arrows. Yeah. That, that was a great, but the, when he got hit in the back, yeah. it's like, you freaking pigs. I know, I loved it. But here's the juxtaposition. <laughs> so you've got, you've got the sultan not going in ahead of his troops. And at the end, who leads the women into the fire? Yeah. <clears throat> She's the first one in the fire. I yeah. thought, that is so freaking strong. Yeah. Oh. She's known as like this god, god oh. in, in India lore. Carrying his, carrying, and I want to know what that, I, I know there is a gazillion things culturally, and I'm glad I'm remembering this right now. The cultural stuff, when they started celebrating holy in the film, I was like, oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was fun. I know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> it felt so great to connect yeah. with that. But yeah. I know there's a gazillion things culturally. Mm hmm that we missed, especially toward the end, like the, when she's carrying that linen with his handprints on it, that's, I, that's gotta have some very deep cultural significance yeah. to yeah, that. Yeah, please uh, let us know. Let us know what that means. Will. Yeah. Um, yeah, but one of my favorite scenes was, was that fight scene at the end, but then also. Yeah. <laughs> the epic, I was so glad it came down to the two yeah. of them. I'm like, thank you. Also, what about, I think one of the best moments was when they introduced that the, uh, gay guy, that he was a present of him. Mm -hmm. And then Renvir just started like laughing insanely. Uh -huh. And I loved that moment. <laughs> he had, because it was such so a, many great it moments. It was such a weird, quirky, mm -hmm. insane moment. Yeah. Those are my favorite types of. <laughs> and those green eyes, man. Oh, yeah. Those green eyes. He's just. He's got epic. He looked like a Jason Mo Moana. Um, yeah. Just, nobody else. They, we talk about this a lot. I'm sure you do there too about when, when you see an actor in a role. Like, the first one that comes to mind immediately is Heath Ledger is the Joker. He was mm -hmm. born to play that role. Mm -hmm. Nobody else to me, will, they can do their own, but he was born to play that. Ranveer was born to play that character, mm -hmm. man. I mean, he's just embodies yeah. every minute of that thing. I want to see a lot more of him. Yep. Um, Absolutely. So Spe man, let, let us know what we... That and Gully Boy. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, let us know what we... Well, we were obviously watching his stuff in reverse. <laughs> we saw Gully Boy. Then we saw yeah, Gully we're going backwards. Just go, whatever. <laughs> I, so we, is it pastrami mastanani? Exactly. <laughs> oh, and one, one other thing. I really liked, I've never seen this in a movie, when his head soldier is protecting her, the king's head soldier mm -hmm. is protecting her as she's leaving and he stayed behind to fight the sultan's soldiers. They chop his head off. 
but he keeps oh, swinging. Oh, yeah. That was great. I that love that was part. freaking cool. I was like, is, he ch- is his head chopped off? <laughs> like, even with my head chopped off, I'm going to take some of y'all with me. I don't know how accurate that is. I don't care. I know chickens do it. <laughs> but uh, that was, that, I love that moment. I do. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that in, uh, <sighs> in film. Because it had the epicness of Lord of the Rings. But yeah. it was like almost more epic and obviously more beautiful. Way more beautiful. Um... <laughs> Way more and obviously film. true. Yeah. <laughs> and I wouldn't, you know, so many times movies are compared to like, for example, if it's an epic ancient war film, they compare it to 300. Mm-hmm. This was so much more beautiful than 300. Obviously better acted. Oh, uh, just at every, if someone were to say to me, choose between those two films, I'm like, there, there is no comparison. No. None. At every level, none. There's yeah. no comparison. Yeah. And now obviously one's like, that computer animated was the 300, right? Yeah, it was stylized. Yeah. And Zack Snyder did a great job with the style. I mean, the blood is actually kind of a character in the film because it's yeah. so stylized. Yeah. But, uh, and it's still a great movie. But not, this is, this is what an epic, you know, bigger than Lawrence of Arabia, you name it. Uh, and I so loved all of the dragged out beautiful moments mm. of just... Uh, their yeah, romantic so. moment when they're rubbing all the holy stuff on each other. I'm like, yeah, they do that for an hour, guys. They had great chemistry. Oh. All of them did, really. All of them did. Um, but, like, the <laughs> Ranveer and the, the Padmavad are actually married in real life. Yeah, <laughs> right. I don't know if they were married before this or if they got married after. No idea. Uh, more, I don't Their know. kids are going to be ugly. Oh, yeah. Man, ugly those, children. Those kids, keep them away from the public. <laughs> Such, just uh, cinematically yeah, beautiful. We, I mean, I could talk about the costumes, the the, the cinematography, and because that, that's the first thing, and then obviously all the songs. So we only reacted to one before. No, but I mean, I loved every single one of the songs. I loved everything. The only problem I had were the couple of little, and this is like maybe three percent of the film. Yeah, a couple little CGI glitches, and that gets a pass, man. Yeah. That just gets a pass. Yeah, so beautiful movie. Please let us know what uh, uh, next of Ren Veers we should watch, or um, I or, forget, forget her name. Uh, anybody? Oh, this. Yeah, yeah. his okay. wife. Yeah, say it for me. As, uh, I've sure seen that name right. a lot. Y'all, Pika Pradkone. Yeah, so I know she's. I know she's huge. No, I got her last name wrong. Topeka? I'm guessing. Padukone. I'm not even gonna try. Padukone, or is it Padukone? Because it's Tapsi Panu. I bet it's a Padu. Anyway, I want to know how to properly pronounce yeah, it because she deserves that to be said right. She's in Piku. Um, yeah, that's the exact same leads and the exact same director. I want to watch that next. <laughs> wow, it's the same two and the same director? That's got to be off the charts. And we've seen the trailer and it looked just as beautiful. And the musical number that we love. Yeah. And I put that song in my playlist. So, yeah. please let us know if that one's worth it. Which Renvere and hers as well that we should watch next. Yeah. We loved it. Obviously, go loved see it. it. You've it. probably already seen it if you're still here. Go watch it again. <laughs> go watch it again. And, uh, yeah, that's about it, I think. 